flowers can seem extremely difficult with watercolors. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you that it's not as hard as it looks. Hi, my name is Hadar Ali Ahmed, and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be learning tips and techniques for placing flowers using watercolor. But before I dive straight into this video, I just wanted to let you know that I do have an Instagram page where I frequently post and upload my artwork and I also do have a website where you can purchase some of my artwork so if you would like to support me further, the links are down below. But without further ado, let's dive straight into this video. When painting flowers using watercolour, it's important that you have a fine brush. Now I'm going to be using a miniature size brush for this tutorial. Now firstly, we're going to paint the bit in the middle. Now firstly, you want to uh, grab your small paintbrush and you want to create an indentation on the paper. And you want to create a curved shape that goes round. And you want to apply this on watercolour paper. Now I'm using the C white watercolour paper, but you can use any watercolour paper you like as long as it's cold pressed. And we're gonna go around the actual actual petal, and we're gonna follow that shape. And that's what you want to do for this tutorial. Now you want to continue doing this going round and round and then what you want to do is you want to get more water and to make the colours more lighter now as I'm going for a loose watercolour style I want this petal to look more expressive and I don't want it to look realistic but I want it to look more expressive and give it that expressive feel to my painting now I'm just going to go round and do the same thing as we did before, we're going to go round the petal and just follow the direction that I am going, so I'm just going round and round the petal. Now you can continue doing this for as long as you want, now I'm going to do this for a few times so might take a bit of time but once you're happy with what you you have got then we are now ready to move on to painting the leaves Now when painting the leaves, it's important that you have a good amount of water and a good amount of paint. Now I'm not going to use a lot of paint, Paint. I'm going to use a, a bit of water for this for the leaves as I want them to be quite light. But we want to copy the shapes which we often see leaves as. Now I'm going to leave some areas highlighted and I'm going to leave some areas filled up with the green. Now. You can use any shade of green, whether it's dark green or light green, but for, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the dark green colour. Now we're just going to follow the shape of the leaves and we're going to leave some highlighted areas to give it more of that 
not realistic but more of that expressive uh, and unique style to my painting and as you can see we've got a perfect leaf here in the painting Now you can create some leaves at the bottom of this painting but you don't have to do this. I just wanted to do this just to give it more of that expressive look to my paintings as I wanted to, uh, to look um, expressive and um, look loose for this painting. Now I'm just going to finish off this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in another video soon. Now if you enjoyed today's tutorial, I hope to see you guys in another video very soon. But as always, please, please hit that subscribe button and please turn your notification bells on so you never miss an update from me. And as always, I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.